Welcome back to my channel. We survived week five. So in week five, we didn't learn a lot this week, but the main things that we went back over are express. Um, we learned about producing APIs. We learned about a sync, uh, a sync and await and promises. So majority of the week was spent still um, in a continuation from the last two weeks of doing express and doing node and using node mon. Um, we used something called postman. I'm not really too sure what I know what we need it for, but I don't know what that has to do with our project week, which is this upcoming week. We actually went ahead and started project week. So normally they'll assign us our projects on Friday and then um, Friday through Friday, we have projects um, and we have pretty much the week off to just work on our projects. We check in through Slack. Um, at, in my case, we check in through Slack at 12 and then 7.30 my time, but we, have, we don't have to be on Zoom um, we don't have to be doing anything else. We can just use, like have Slack open and just work on our own. This week was a little bit better for me. I decided to deviate from my normal like notes. Um, normally I download my notes on um, from in Notability and I'll take notes as we're doing lecture. But because I was so lost, um, I just decided to watch the lecture. So I would download the notes and anything that I felt like I really needed to jot down, I would jot down. But I spent a lot of time watching and um, coding along. This time around, it was a lot of coding along. So I felt like at some point that I was just kind of just taking notes slash just um, just typing to type. I wasn't really um, taking in or absorbing what we were actually doing. So I spent a lot of time this week during week five um, rewatching the recorded lectures and then going through it with my notes. Um, and I feel like that made a big difference. The week prior, I, what I did is I printed out all the notes because for some reason I felt the need that I needed to handwrite and it did help um, with specifically with the routes and the controllers. I did start making a lot of connections that I just wasn't making maybe a week ago, two weeks ago. But in this case, um, me just sitting back and watching the lectures um, and then going back and watching the recorded lecture and taking notes versus trying to do it in real time, I think really helped me solidify the information. Um, so I can tell you that I'm a little bit, I'm a lot better with um, Express now. I know last week I was a little lost um, and I still am, it's still kind of there, but I'm getting better at um, picking up when to use a route, what the route would be for, um, the post methods, um, I think it's called CRUD, using CRUD. Um, not so much the post method, methods, but post is, there's get, post, put, and there's a fourth one that I'm just, oh, uh, get, post, put, and I'm missing one because I, we barely use it, but I don't remember off the top of my head what it's called. Um, but mainly using CRUD, which is create, read, slash, retrieve, update, and delete, um, which is what we're supposed to be able to do in um, using our Express apps and Node. So I'm, I'm, starting to solidify that information a little bit more. And I feel like I'm really starting to understand what Express is used for and what Node is used for. I still don't like EJS, but I'm starting to make those connections that when I'm trying to put like a certain form based on what I want to come back, um, if I need to use a post method or a put method, even with the routes, understanding how the routes work, and then even with the controllers and the models, um, understanding with controllers and models, the whole MVC structure that we were introduced to um, a week before project one is now really starting to like sink in now. And that's something that they continue to reiterate and I'll continue to say is that they keep, they continue to tell us that these concepts, you know, you may learn it in week one, but then uh, here I am in week five slash six, it's really starting to sink in. Like it's, I'm like, okay, I see what this is. I didn't like it, but I see what it is. And now I'm like, okay, I kind of, um, I won't say I love backend, but I will say that I'm a lot, because I'm starting to understand it more, it's not as terrible as I thought it was, but it can be, it can, it can be, I don't want to say it can be quick, but it's not hard to get lost in Express if you don't know what you're doing or if you're still learning. So um, I mean, yesterday I was working on a project and I was stuck. I was getting a 404 error, which means my code pretty much was correct, but the server just wasn't responding. I went through my routes. I went through my controllers. I went through everything and I could not figure out what it was. And it ended up actually being in my EJS, 
which EJS is essentially like the HTML CSS for the page. And I had the way I'd set up my form, I'd ended my form too late. And that as soon as I moved the form, the form ending tag up, that was it. So, and that took me literally, I think I worked on that. I tried to debug it. I threw it in our debugging channel. So because we're virtual, um, we utilize Slack a lot. And so we have a debugging channel for our class. And essentially it's, if you're stuck at home and you've been working on something for a very long time, whether it be a, it's actually whether it be at home, whether it be at class, um, in class or um, on the weekends, but that we now have, a, we have a debugging channel where you can take screenshots of what's going on with, you take screenshots of your code and what's going on and what you're, what year you're seeing and people can kind of help you sometimes. Um, it is just a simple typo, simple typo error. Um, other times it's a little bit more complicated. They'll tell you, oh, you forgot to install this or you forgot to do this. So I threw it in there and I had to wait like a while because it is the weekend. Um, so I understand that not, they're not co consistently watching the channel. The assistant and the professors are not, since are not constantly watching the channel. So I, it takes a little bit longer to get assistance over the weekends versus, um, during the week where, you know, we're all online very actively. And on top of that, um, I think, you know, normally my classmates would also be of assistance, but because we're all trying to focus on our projects, we have labs due tomorrow. We have labs due tomorrow, which is Monday. And we have labs due on, um, Wednesday. We're trying to get all that together on top of, we have things to do for outcomes, which as a reminder, our outcomes is our job related class. So LinkedIn, networking, things like that. We have homework for that. So it's just a lot. It's a lot. So week five overall has just been really solidifying express producing APIs, which I'm not really a hundred percent solidified on. So I wish I could go into more detail what it is, but hopefully week six, um, when I do my review of week six, then I can really tell you what an API is because I feel like I understand what it is, but then when we when they asked us to kind of talk, go find one and talk more about it, my group kind of struggled a little bit. And I don't know if I mentioned that going into week six that it's paired program. So I will, I do have a partner and we are producing something together. So that we do, we have been doing a little bit of pair, paired programming throughout the weeks. A lot, we've done a lot of paired programming, mainly with the whiteboard exercises. And if somebody has an issue, sometimes we'll just both jump into a breakout room and debug together. And for those of you that don't know debug, it means essentially problem solve. So when your code is throwing an error and um, if your code is throwing an error and you don't know what it is and you just need a second pair of eyes, um, Debugging overall is just kind of going through your code and like you may have made a spelling error, you may have put something in the wrong place, you may have commented out something that didn't need to be commented out. Essentially that's debugging, it's like problem solving, which is, I, I, I enjoy it, but after four hours of looking at the same thing, you know, it doesn't, it's not as enjoyable. Um, they always recommend that you, um, if you're struggling or if it's just taking you forever to find, fix or one thing, just either, I, a big, the beginning definitely was utilizing debugging a little bit, probably more than I should, not in the sense of not that I shouldn't have used it, but in the sense of I could have spent more time maybe working on it myself. I, uh, Googling the error codes, um, things like that. So I definitely this time around spent more time really like, you know, they tell you if you've been stuck on something, just get up, go do something else. So I would get up, I would like just set my timer for like 30 minutes or um i would just go walk or i would go talk on a phone and then i would come back and literally i kid you not it's something that spent took me like four hours in like 10 minutes and once i got back it was just like and i was like wow i would have been stuck on this all day you know so it's also a rewarding feeling um, but i would not I would not not use, I guess I know it's a double negative, but essentially I would use a debugging channel, but I would try and work it out on your own, work it out with a friend, but like maybe set a time for yourself. Like maybe like, okay, if I can't figure this out in three hours, like I'm going to send it up because now, you know, it's like, you've been staring at it, but you don't see the mistake. As soon as your classmate sees it, it's like, oh yeah, you, you, you put flight instead of flights. And that, that literally will make the difference. Um, so I definitely can say I've spent less time in debugging for not simple fixes, but things that I can learn to debug myself. Um, so I can definitely say that's been a big accomplishment of mine because I think I'm so 
kind of, I know it's dramatic, but I still feel like I have a little bit of PTSD from um, Project Week One, where I wrote all my code and didn't debug as I went, and, and it just became a disaster that now I'm just like, let me figure this out real quick. Okay, let me figure this out real quick. Like, let me figure this out. The JavaScript is so like solidified now that I'm like, okay, this is an object. This is an array. I put this array in here and to access this, I use dot notation, da 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 da. So that I'm very thankful for that I've been able to pick up because that was my struggle when um, I was trying to teach myself was like trying to relate this JavaScript and why it was important and picking up on things that I just didn't feel like I was picking up on. And um, I feel like now like those concepts are solidified. We do have coding challenges that I've kind of fallen behind on. We have to complete 30 before the end of the class, which is next month for me. So. I plan to utilize week six, um, working on my project, but also um, doing these coding challenges. So essentially, I know I kind of was all over the place, but majority of this was week five. It was just kind of solidifying concepts for the last two weeks. And now we're working on a paired programming project that we get to use CRUD methods on. And I can go into more detail on what project myself and my partner chose to do, um, why we did it, and kind of more detail um, about it oh yeah and we learned about scheme schema schema i don't i don't remember how to pronounce it. i think i always confuse it but we learned about schemas which are essentially like little models um they're not models but they can be exported as models and um, like i said i can go into more detail about that next week when i really break down um what i made and hopefully you know i go into this project week i'm going into this project week a little bit more comfortable so hopefully you know i'll have decent news i mean it'll be decent news i'm not gonna leave but um, we do have an assessment on Thursday after we present our project. So I'll have more updates after that. So I hope you guys enjoy your week and I hope you guys enjoy this review. If you're going through what I'm going through currently or if you want any additional resources, please feel free to link, like comment down below um, or um, you know, email me controlaltdenise at gmail.com. I'll leave that in the description box below as well. Um, I know a few of you have reached out to me. Thank you guys. And um, I'm happy to help. So hopefully, you know, this is week five. We survived. We're on to week six and look out for my review on week six. Have a good one.